Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with something really different, but it's been highly requested. I've had a lot of people that have asked me about this phone, if we can even call it a phone. Uh, it's, it's a really interesting device. It's the Cosmo Communicator, right here. And a lot of people are really interested in it because, well, of course, I love Blackberry. So y'all guys know that I like keyboard phones. I've got the Unihertz Titan Pocket right now. So it only made sense for me to reach out to these guys and see if I could get my hands on one because a lot of people like the old days of gone by with the keyboards when it, we talk about the sidekick. Like everybody always brings up the sidekick and they like that horizontal landscape keyboard, which you have right here running Android 9. It's something different. And I thought, sure, let's go ahead and see if I can get my hands on one of these and we're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it in this video. But before we get into that, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now let's take a look at the Cosmo Communicator. And here we have the Cosmo Communicator. You guys asked for it, I reached out and thankfully they were kind enough to send me this review unit. So I've got this for a couple of weeks to test out and I've been really interested in it myself. Of course, I love keyboard phones. I love Blackberry. I've got the Unihertz Titan Pocket right now. So this was a nice logical progression to take a look at something a little bit different. So let's go ahead and use the handy dandy unboxing tool. We'll go ahead and take this out. The box even itself is a little bit different than what you get with a conventional smartphone. It's cool here, you can see the big pictures on the outside. As soon as you take the top and pop it up, you can see here it looks just like the Cosmo Communicator, which I kind of dig. I think it's kind of neat the way they did this. Cool advertising already, and of course you bought the product, but go ahead and take the device out of the plastic wrap here. I'm going to try not to call it phone so much because, I mean, it is a communicator, and it does work as a phone, but I think it's important they call it the communicator because that's very much what it's geared towards. It's got a nice sturdy construction to it. It doesn't feel like it's cheap or light, so I like that. Got the 24 megapixel camera and that external LCD on the outside. Running the MediaTek Helio P70, and it also has six gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, and you can throw an external SD card in there as well. So you should be loaded up pretty good as far as that goes. The keyboard feels nice and tactile a little on the soft side i mean it's very much like an older laptop keyboard it doesn't feel anything like a phone keyboard that i've ever used you've got the standby button on the side there the power button is actually the escape key there you have to press and hold that kind of like a laptop you've got the little front facing selfie or more like a webcam on the inside let's see what else is inside the box here you got our standard fare got some neat little stickers in here so that's cool we've got our sim ejector tool that's in there as well along with some documentation that likely you're not going to read <laughs> it does have a microfiber cloth in there which is neat so you can clean the screen off that's something that's especially important important and we've got the power brick here so you've got a charging brick in the box ready to go so you can charge it it's a usb type a to usb type c 5 volt 2 amp standard quick charge and then we've also got the charging cable in here as well and the charging cable it is a USB type A USB type C so everything is in here in the box so as soon as you open it you can charge it up you can get ready to go uh, I do believe that accessories are probably pretty hard to come by for this thing but thankfully when you close the screen it keeps it protected again solid construction it has got a nice body it's very much not a light phone it, this is something that has some weight to it. it's got a speaker up top so you can use that for a phone and you've also got the speakers on the top and the bottom for media for playing back music or sounds on the device so that's cool and we'll go ahead and open it up here it's kind of spring loaded once you open it up it definitely has an assistant pushes it open one thing that i don't like is you can't adjust the angle on it it's basically one position fits all whenever it comes to the screen so i think that that could be an improvement if they make a second one of these later but it's definitely an interesting device. It's, I expected it to be more kind of like the original Sidekick, and it definitely is not. This is very much reminds me of an old portable laptop from days gone by, as opposed to, you know, a, a replacement for the Sidekick. But it's definitely interesting, and we're going to dive in and take a closer look at it. So my first impressions on the Cosmo Communicator 
are just that. It's very much a communicator. It's a communication device, and of course, I mean, that's what it's designed to be. But when you think about things in the realm of smartphones, I think of this more as like a modern kind of portable Android laptop. The way that it works is it has this big landscape keyboard on here. This is not like your old sidekick. This, this guy right here reminds me a lot and taking it back a long time ago, back to the pocket PC days, pocket laptop. When I was in Iraq in 2006, I actually had a little laptop that was about this size and you could do some basic things on it. It had an ARM processor, of course, which that's what we still have now. But as soon as I took this out of the box, it reminded me of that. So if you had one of those a long time ago, the old pocket PCs, pocket laptops, they were about this size. And they would pop up and they would have a QWERTY keyboard on them that would look very much like this, except they were slow as molasses. This one's got the MediaTek Helio P70 in it, which that may sound familiar to you guys because I've got it right here in the Unihertz Titan Pocket. It is the same processor, even though these are a little bit removed when it comes to processing. The Cosmo Communicator is a little bit older, but that just goes to show you with all the videos and all the talk I've been telling you about the P70, it's a pretty good platform and it's been around for a while. Some of the things you're going to miss out on though are 5G and expanded LTE networks. There's no band 66, no band 71, there's no 5G on here, so you're definitely not going to be able to communicate the best in some areas, especially as we come up with these new frequencies and things shift more and more to 5G. It's got a six inch touch screen on it and there's a button on the bottom here which you can use to turn the display on whenever you're not using it. Like it goes into standby mode. There's a power button right here. The escape button, that's how you turn it on and off and that was kind of perplexed me because there is a button here on the bottom but it's not actually the power button. So it kind of throws me off but it turns the display on and off whenever it's been off. USB-C, it's got speakers on the top and the bottom. It's also got a headphone jack. So you've got a lot of the old school stuff in there that a lot of people really like, especially when it comes to, you know, using technology that's not exactly the most cutting edge. And I'm not saying that a headphone jack's not cutting edge, but when you look at the new phones, you look at this guy right here, the S21 Ultra, you look at the Z Fold 2, you look at a lot of these modern phones, they come with dongles, if anything, actually they usually don't. So you don't really have the headphone jack on the phone anymore. I hesitate in calling this a phone, but it kind of is. There's this 1.91 inch second screen on the front of the phone here, and it does have some limited interaction. You, you can make phone calls on the front of it, otherwise you have to open it, and then you're going to have to dial them in this way, and then close it, and then talk on it. I did make a phone call, I tested it out. The handset speaker does seem to be pretty decent. So this is a really interesting device, and I've only been using this today since I got home this afternoon, but ever since I took this out of the box and opened it up, it does not scream out to me phone. It doesn't scream out to me smartphone. It is a, like it says, it's a Cosmo, it's a communicator, and it's a device that you can use for, you can use it for sending text messages. It feels very much so like typing on a laptop. It takes some time getting used to typing on this, because as you, as you can see, your hand takes up a lot of the space on it, but it's very much built around productivity and communication, which is probably why you want to buy it. This is a business first, convenient second phone. I mean, it's something you can carry around. It's only got about a 4,200 milliamp battery, but it's got a 1080p six inch screen LCD. So it should be okay for a little while on battery. This is likely not something you're going to sit around and play games on all day. This is something you're going to do work on. This is something you're going to talk to people. You're going to communicate. I mean, it's got even this little Cosmo communicator looking, the little planet button on the bottom, and it pulls up different stuff here. You can pull up Word, Excel, Skype. You can pull up the Mail app, the Agenda, Chrome. You, there's a lot of stuff you can do on here that is productivity related, and I totally get that. One thing that does irk me about it is the screen. I mean, it's kind of weird anyway. I mean, whenever you open it up, you open it up, the screen is always in landscape mode. It's not something you can turn up sideways and then use it like in portrait mode. It's pretty much always in landscape mode, at least from what I've been able to tell. I Maybe there's something I haven't figured out in here, but I've turned it into auto rotate and I've messed with it and the screen doesn't turn up. <laughs> it's only sideways. So when you're doing things like scrolling through Twitter and reading email, I mean, yeah, you can see everything because the characters go all the way across, but it's like using your phone in landscape mode all the time with the physical keyboard attached to it. The keyboard layout is not bad at all. It is kind of intuitive. I like how everything's where it's supposed to be, except that some of the buttons are a little bit different shaped. Like 
the enter button, it couldn't stick out as far as it normally does. So it actually takes up more space right here and it kind of extends down to the next key row. The space bar I think is pretty decent. The key presses on this thing, very much like a laptop. Like it, you have to press the buttons all the way down. It's not one of those ones where it's very forgiving wherever you just type on the keyboard and it just registers it. There is haptic feedback, which is kind of interesting, uh, but it's in the chassis, not in the physical keys themselves. They're not capacitive keys, but the key press is fine on here. It does take some getting used to. I had quite a few times where I would press a letter and it wouldn't pop up because I didn't press it down all the way. So this will take some getting used to. It does have an SD card slot. It does have a SIM card slot. I put my T-Mobile SIM in here. I tried it out. It has a 24 megapixel primary camera. So you can take some pictures here, but it's very much like the Surface Duo. This very much reminds me of kind of like a keyboard version of a more rudimentary Surface Duo, what it was trying to accomplish. Like the Surface Duo has an identity issue for sure. This one does not have an identity issue. It tells you exactly what it is. As soon as you open up this keyboard and you see that you got the full QWERTY laptop layout and the screen is just in landscape mode. This is a business first communication device, not the traditional type of smartphone that you're going to use. It is not a BlackBerry replacement by any stretch of the imagination. See, BlackBerry has been able to do the communication thing but also been able to do the phone thing pretty well. This one does the communication thing, but it doesn't do the phone thing very well. But the phone thing I think is very, very secondary. It's more of a, yes, you can make phone calls. Yes, you can use LTE data. No, it's not the traditional sense of a phone. And I think that's okay. And I think they realize that when they put this together. This is a very niche grassroots device. It's targeted at a very small subset of individuals. But if this is something that you're like, hey, I really could see a need for that, then it might be something that could be for you. If you're like, hey, I'm a keyboard enthusiast and I wanna pick this up and use it as a phone, it may not be exactly what you're looking for. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time with this and test it out. I'm looking forward to taking it out tomorrow and putting it through its paces like with my SIM card in it for the day as opposed to, hey, I took this out of the box, what is this? <laughs> I, I've been playing with the Cosmo Communicator all afternoon and it's definitely a head turner. It's very interesting. And it's totally something out of left field. Like, I appreciate what they're trying to do here. I like that this is a nice crowdfunded Kickstarter project where you can, it's just like the Unihertz Titan. These guys set out with an idea. They put it out there for people, say, hey, if you're interested in this, go ahead and back it. And it's real. I mean, it's, it's real, it works. Uh, the latest security patch is January of 2021, so they're not totally up to date on that. But yeah, this is it. <laughs> and uh, y'all asked for it, so I got it, and I'm gonna bring some more content to you on it. So that's all I've got so far on the Cosmo Communicator. So please sound off in the comment section with your questions, with your anything. I mean, if you want me to look at it while well, I've got this, then please let me know if you've got some questions you want answered. And that's what I'm here for with this phone. This is not something that I'm probably going to be carrying as a daily driver after I get done testing it, but it is something that's very interesting and unique. And I love keyboard phones and I love keyboard communicators. So I am 100% here for this. It's a very, very interesting device. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, like I was saying, leave those in the comments section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.